Here's a Sylvania color TV that I got from Texas Recycles Day. This was one that I, I had in a video and it was, uh, I had it after I unloaded the truck and just was testing it. And uh, it did produce a picture but it was really weak. The other Sylvania set ended up having a bad flyback. The, uh, the flyback started getting hot and even though I was trying different high voltage rectifier tubes, the HV would go up to 3 kilovolts and then back down and the flyback started getting hot and I smelled a burning smell. So I just salvaged the parts, uh, all the parts out of that one, out of that cabinet. And this is the, the really good new RCA highlight picture tube. So we're going to do a picture tube test on, on this one here. And if it doesn't pass the test, we may go ahead and just put the highlight in there. But I took everything everything out of that cabin and I got the speakers and the, the degausser and the chassis and the tuner and the, uh, the frame. But the cabinet on that was just massive. So I don't like to try to uh, put new, in, in something that's got a bad flyback. I'd rather work on something and restoring something that I know the flyback is good and uh, I like this cabinet better anyway because it's a lot more manageable size than just the monster cabinet of that other one but I may be able to use that cabinet for something else but it was just it was just so big in here that I decided to give preference in getting this one going plus I know the flyback is going to be good on it because it did produce a picture although a weak one so now I've got the got the socket on the CRT and we'll get the tester plugged in and I'll get the filament voltage set and we'll uh, see what, what it tests like. I've got power to the tester. I'm going to set the, uh, the filament voltage range is on 6.3. We'll measure filament voltage here and just uh, adjust it up to the right value here. This is a 6.3. Okay. Make sure we got it up right on the mark. Now I'll check for heater to cathode leakage. I don't notice any. I'll check for G1 shorts. It still looks okay. Now we'll set cutoff, and this one here, the meter is actually below the pointer, so you've got to adjust the knob to add two marks. So there's one, there's two. Now we'll do this one, and I'm finding I'm having to turn the knobs way up higher than on the good RCA tubes I've been testing recently. Now red. You really have to turn the red up high. It's barely doing anything. So now I'm going to press the quality test button. And it's really bad. The pointer's not even moving. The pointer's even going below where it was before. So I may just, as a test, just do a rejuvenation pro procedure on this and see if I can boost it some more but I think what we'll do is we'll just put in the new RCA highlight tube and this tube doesn't even have any PVA degradation on the front so it's really good so let me read up on the rejuvenation process and we'll just give it a test and see if it can improve it okay here's the rejuvenation process And the gun emission is in the red area, so we'll set the function switch to renew one. Then we'll press the special test and repair push buttons, and we'll push them for all three of them. After 10 seconds, press to release. So let's see, we're going to go to renew one. And wait five seconds. Looks like we're giving it a giving it a filament boost here. So 
So I'm going to press the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we'll do blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I saw a little flash of an arc inside of there. So now we'll go back to go back to regular mode. And let's we'll get our cutoff set up now. We'll see what the CRT rejuvenation process did to it. And get, we'll set up the red cutoff. And now the blue. And now the green. Now let's do a quality test. Wow, it looks like I really boosted it. They're all in the green zone now. So, looks like this may have may have done something. It's not. We may just see. Uh, we'll see what it does. We'll see if the rejuvenation job lasts. But now all the things are in the green zone, and I think that this set was functional. So we'll we'll just go ahead and and power it up and see what kind of results we get on it. The convergence device is falling apart. I need to I know I'll need to fix that. It looks like the rejuvenator did something. Don't have very good focus. But we've got enough brightness there. So let me see if I can actually tune in a station. May be able to repair this convergence uh, device with a cable tie. It's like someone put in a new electrolytic down there. I'll we'll probably treat this to, or we'll treat this to all new electrolytics once we just sort of verify how it's working. But it uh, ought to produce a pretty good picture. Let's see if I can adjust the focus on it. Tom, what is the computer? Now we've got a pretty good picture on the Sylvania set. In theirs, I think some new caps might help the vertical. Barley mash and seeds from this red so fruit. We've got pretty good convergence. Uh, good Esther. focus. What is the pomegranate? Correct for thousand. Holiday and good video. Vince Guaraldi's LP from the 1965 TV special about this. And I put the uh, convergence components from the old Sylvania set on here. This convergence assembly is a lot more robust than those red, green, blue interlocking type. It's got a locking clamp on here to hold it in place. So I did just a quick convergence setup on it and I adjusted the focus and adjusted the RGB uh, screen controls. And thank goodness for the CRT tester. If I wouldn't have had that rejuvenation ability I wouldn't uh, wouldn't have had any luck with this picture too, but that was amazing. It was it was completely dead, but then that rejuvenator just brought it back. So I'll just uh, I'll just pack this picture tube up in a in a box, and we'll save it away in the storage unit until uh, until another set might need it, or if I get one uh, get one that's just not rejuvenatable with the CRT tester, we can use this. Uh, tube in it. But now what I'll do, I'll uh, go ahead and take the chassis out of here and put new caps in it, get it all cleaned up, check horizontal output cathode current and regulator current, and 
but it, it looks real promising. It, the picture is so much better now since I've rejuvenated it from when it was first tested. Looks like it's got good red. And I really like these Sylvania type tubes with the clear glass better than the frosted type tubes because I think they just look better. So let me let me get a view of the front of the the set just so that you can kind of see it here. So I'll keep working on this and just update you on the on the progress of it.